Devon! Hey, William. I am feeling so boho bohemian today. <laughs> that is because the Czech Republic has finally released the six songs and artists who will compete in their national selection for Eurovision 2018. Should we have a listen? <laughs> Let's do that! So we're gonna listen to these. I've not heard these yet. That um, is good. Do you wanna use my headphones? Yeah, okay. let's do this. Cue the people saying, you need a splitter. You guys need to share. You look ridiculous. But you know what, I'm broke, so we're gonna share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> yes, you gotta re reduce, reuse, recycle. All right, here we go. <laughs> Upcycle. Now this first act, I'm reading on Wooly Blogs, is Dr. Victor. Oh my God, they're massive. Prague-based rock band. Yeah, there's, there's a trio of them. They open for ACDC. They are huge. Yeah, but I don't like ACDC, so <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Stand up, they say. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is already very 90s naughties, isn't it? Okay, it's not... Let's give it a... a minute. I get dirty face. Well, maybe you should wash it. Oh, I hate that choreography. It's so just a lyric it. video. <laughs> but I take your point. I feel like I've heard this many, many, many times in the past. Oh, this, oh is this is loud. It's a really bad attempt at stadium rock. It's really loud. Isn't aggressive. It? Yeah. Stadium rock that doesn't. I'll stand up and walk out. This is not, no. This rock is limp. Sorry. It's not working for and me. It, but it's not a limp biscuit. <laughs> They'll do well because of who they are, but this really is a lazy pastiche of what rock music is. You know what this reminds me of? Mm hmm. A cat, I'm sorry, a car screeching to a halt. That, uh, it's yeah. just noise. So next up, we have a woman named Debbie, D to the E double B I, with the song High on Love. Reminds me of Melody Grand Prix, Raiden Sather. <laughs> that song, Big Wind Machine. is with this title we've been there before but hopefully she takes it in a new direction she was um she's a german czech singer named deborah call in real life and she won song of the year in 2010 at the andal award so yeah she's got a bit of a following impressive pressing play nice instrumentation at the beginning it's okay <laughs> Like every day won't go I like the clarity in her voice. Yeah. She enunciates. She enunciates beautifully. Hmm. This is good. Okay. It's, like, it's yeah. too lyrically heavy. I think it needs a spark the lyrical arrangement. It has an anthemic quality. I'm not sure if it's an anthem yet. But Let me see how it transitions from that chorus back yeah. to the verse. It almost seems underproduced. I know there's stuff going on, but something's missing. <laughs> Something feels hollow to me. But filled with more words, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's too many words, really. Even as a native speaker, this is a lot to take on. Quality performer, the song needs to be recut to give it some kind yes, of... it needs a better structure. I just feel like I'm on a long road, going up a mountain, but it's just like, it gets monotonous. All right, this is... This has potential. I have to say though, comparing it w with what that check here has submitted over the years, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, potential. All right, we move on. Next up is Eddie Stoilo. We, we ruled this world. And no, actually, this is a band. It ain't just about Eddie. Eddie Stoilo is a band. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so they've opened for Simply Red in the past, and their That's last album good. is good. Okay, so let's hear it. He's very hairy. Maybe he's hiding a beautiful voice in the in the fur. All right. In the foliage. In the foliage. Yeah. God, it's so funny. This is dreamy already. This instrumentation. Okay, can we get some words? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You know what his voice reminds me of? Tom Francis from Belgium a few years ago. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Rag and Bone Man. Um, oh, I can also hear that actually. That's nice. He's got a great voice. Good. No, great. It's like a warm blanket. Wrap me up in it. <laughs> oh, it's got a little country twang at times. 
Ed Sheeran castle on the hill. This is nice. This production is good. This feels emotional. No, it's okay. No, this this is the stadium anthem I need. Listen it's to a, that chorus. Listen, it's a sleepy pop tune. Uh. With aspirational lyrics, that's all it is. And that juxtaposition makes me uncomfortable. Sleepy pop tune is better than dead pop tune, which is what we've heard so far. It's okay. This stellar, stellar honey. All right. Next up, Ava Boresova. Now I've got to read you this de this detail in her bio. Okay, so she's on Czechoslovakia's Got Talent, finalist 2011, well done. But she actually drew a lot of media attention in 2017 after giving oh, birth, oh yes, she decided to drink the placenta in a cocktail. You know what? She didn't drink yours. That, no, she did not. <laughs> if we were in Laos, she would have buried it under the house for good luck. Exactly, and lots people of people have their different. traditions. Yeah, very trendy in California as well. It's very ritualistic. All right. Well, let's but, see. <laughs> <laughs> From placenta to song, fly. Oh. Damn, that's a mystery. I can imagine when that placenta was flying, she just grabbed it. <laughs> Velociraptor. <laughs> oh, I like this. You know what this reminds me of? Kaja Mas mystery. There is that? Do you remember Raven in Slovenia? Oh yeah, that's true. This is a very nice intro. I like it. It's arresting. It's emotional. It needs to go somewhere real quick. Wait, wait, wait. I got ADD over here. Oh, I'm sorry. This is too dark. This is too dark for me. I like it. Yeah. The power weight behind this is a uh, Eurovision veteran. This was written, arranged, and produced by um, it's Václav. Oh, Mar Mar oh, he's great. Yeah, like he's that. excellent. Yeah, but that song was also dark and a little boring. This is look. This is going nowhere for me. Put this, like in a, this. put this in a musical when the evil witch comes out the woods to eat your children. But don't put it on the stage of Eurovision. Okay, we turn to Mikulas Joseph. Lie to me. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. He's a former model. He's gymnastic. Can we just play that now? No, no, no. no. no, 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 no you no, just no. want to see. Let's just no, wait, play. Because he's a big deal. People have been talking about him. He openly confirmed that he had submitted the song ages ago. He was in backstage negotiations last year to go instead of Martina Barta, but then she went out in the end. Maybe now is his moment. Are you ready? Let's see when. This song's already a hit in Czech Republic. Okay, play. Ah, oh, I can't bear that sax intro. Funky, I like it. It's awful. I mean, it's a little cheesy, but it's different. <laughs> Her skirt goes I, up like Marilyn Monroe. He's dirty. <laughs> I deeply dislike it. She's rocking those Prada heels, got a face like Madonna. <laughs> This is awful. I wouldn't say, I'd say interesting. No, it's awful. I'm gonna wait for the chorus before I judge. Oh. Oh. Maybe this is awful. It is seriously no, but, awful. No, this is quite fun. The thing is, this is memorable. I love the past two check entries. Sorry, but, but this is this, more memorable than those. This needs to go. With the right staging, his gymnastic ability, this could slay. <sighs> I would not download this song, I'll be honest. This is not my kind of music, but I respect what he's done. I think this, this is deeply disappointing. But I don't think the hype is justified though, I'll give you that, because there's a lot of a hype behind this, I don't think the hype is justified. Finally, we've got Pavel Kalta with Never Forget. Um, yeah, he was also on the Czech and Slovakia's Got Talent. Let's see if he's got it. I like this. It sounds like a lullaby so far. Oh, but you know what? It's a good sleep, look. coming after what's his face? Nicholas Joseph. Oh, stop hating. I like this. Sweet voice. Beautiful voice. Very sweet. I mean, it's clearly middle of the road. He's putting his voice in her stage. Yeah, I respect I that. Like that. I'm not hiding behind production. No. Oh, William, there's a sincerity to this, you know? It's sweet. It's sweet. This is it's sweet. And I this like the really way nice. he shifts between the verses and the chorus, you know, like, there's a breath to his vocal. Yes. I like He's it. not hiding behind a bunch of noise. No. It's stripping it back. This it's is good. It's excellent. It's funny. You can be simple and people won't forget. Yeah. It's actually memorable. Yeah. And I think it's such a contrast to some of the other songs we've heard. 
Absolutely. I mean, him. And can you can you just hear that tone in his voice? Yeah. He and Eddie Stello are playing that emotional sweetness. Except this is more stripped really back good. than that. This is really good. This is not electro. This is just nice acoustic. You know what I mean? It's almost acoustic. The purity. Pavel, play in this. Oh, this is brilliant. He, if he can deliver this live, oh, it's very powerful. This is it? excellent. It's stripped back. He's got this voice. He's got this face. He's got this song. That's the total package. And you know what? Strong angles on every turn. Can you see how? The Look at the chin. Done. I like this a lot. I love it. That's brilliant. It, that was good. Okay, look, I'm not. I don't even have to ask. But of the six songs, which is your favorite? Okay, I'm gonna say Pavel Kaleta with Never Forget. But I've got a shout out to Miss Fly. You know, she is. Um... How quickly you forget about Debbie? I see. Oh, Debbie, I don't. Yeah. You forgot her. No, I no, I didn't forget her, but she's not in first place. I have to say Eva Borsova and Pavel Kalita. I'm gonna say well, this I'm makes their names sound quite Maltese. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I would say Pavel, <laughs> but I'm sure you're correct. So basically, people always accuse me of only liking female soloists, but actually I prefer the older gents here. I love Eddie Stoilo. I think it's fantastic, and I love Pavel Kalta. Pavel, Pavel. Pa maybe Pavel's my favorite, actually, and then I'm gonna give it to Eddie, but depending on the live performance, you could go either way. Um, and then I also think Nicholas Joseph, even though this is not the kind of song I would ever download, pay for, or listen to, of like my own will, I think with a stage show, he could be really, really memorable, and that's why um, he's in my list. And the others, Dr. Victor is last. Debbie's great, but I don't like her song. Ava's great, again, I don't like her song. So yeah. You, you, you do really dislike it. Fly that much. That, it's just, yeah, I do. Oh, really? I do. I think she's got a beautiful voice, but the song, you know, and I'm also, I'm thinking Eurovision, like, what will do well at Eurovision, and I just don't think that song would do well. It's just, it's a little forgettable. Staging though, babe. You can only elevate so much <laughs> with a spotlight. I'm sorry. And overall, how do you, did this meet your expectations, exceed your expectations, or did it underwhelm overall? Well, I mean, it's Czech Republic, isn't it? So my expectations were lower to begin with. So actually, this fulfilled the brief. We've gone up a few notches. I respect their ambition. They're trying to turn things around. You know, I think actually the past two years, their staging at Eurovision has been innovative and interesting, even if simple. But like, I remember Martina Barta staging. I really do. I remember Gabriela Gunchikova staging. Well, it's interesting you talk about Gabriela Gunchikova because that was one I disliked to begin oh, with, yeah. but live and just the, the feeling of it. And I think that Pavel could even take this further. Yeah, it, it, I would love to see them send a guy. Mm. You know what? That if, isn't Gypsy CZ. You know what? If Eva goes, I won't be upset. I think it's very deserving. I love the buzz around her. I love her media. <laughs> you love <sound>. her placenta, <laughs> or her son's placenta. In any case, oh, I should be honest. While I respect their ambition, I was slightly underwhelmed overall. I had really, really like high hopes that this was gonna like totally slay. But you know, it, it's good. I'm saying yay as opposed to saying nay, but also as opposed to saying slay. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Have you listened to the Czech songs? What was your first reaction? Who do you think can win this? And who would do the best at Eurovision? Because obviously those are two different things. Let us know here on Wee Blogs. They are two different things. Yeah, sometimes what they? you want to win and what you think should win is not what would do best at Eurovision. Is anyone good? I mean, let's just Portugal, voting for Viva La Diva, first place Televote over Salvador Sobral, I can't. All right, anyways, wrap us up. <laughs> Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook. And we will see you later. Bye! Bye.